Welcome everybody to my new video series. My name is Michael Clean. I thought it would be interesting to look at uh, movies from the perspective of my high school years. I went to Main West High School on Oakton Street and Wolf Road. And of course, this is dating myself a little bit, but uh, I started high school in the fall of 1996 and graduated in the spring of 2000. So there were a lot of interesting movies that came out in those four years. And I thought it would be fun to go through uh, some of the more memorable movies that came out during that time and talk about them, talk about my experience with them, how they uh, impacted my life, my friends, uh, and the broader public. Now most of the time when I went to see these movies, it was at the Little Displains Theater on Lee Street and Minor Street. This was a two-screen theater, very small. They used to have 50 Cent Tuesdays, where every Tuesday uh, you could get into a movie for cheap. In this theater, uh, every Friday it would show new movies, but if there was a movie that was playing in the theater for several weeks in a row, you were kind of just out of luck. Uh, the other place we would go is down to uh, Randhurst Mall. Um, I believe that was in Mount Prospect. It was about five bucks, so it was a little bit more expensive to go, but uh, they had more recent movies that would come out. Now they tore that theater down and they built a whole new one over there. Another place I would go would be to the local library, the public library in Des Plaines and rent movies. Uh, they didn't really have new releases. Back then, you know, a movie would come out in theaters and then it would take at least a year, it seemed like a year, for it to come out on video. I started high school probably in August uh, of that year, 1996. The movies that you had come out in the late summer um, were not that great. Escape from LA, which was kind of a a reboot sequel to Escape from New York. Your rules are really beginning to annoy me. Uh, Jack, which was a Robin Williams comedy. Uh, that was mediocre at best. The Island of Dr. Moreau. That was great with Marlon Brando. The devil, Mr. Douglas, I have found is nothing more than a, a tiresome collection of genes. Farooza Balk was in it. Uh, she was a big star in the 90s, kind of dropped off the radar. Unfortunately, I was a big fan of hers. It didn't really get a lot of uh, a lot of good reviews. I don't think, you know, people really liked it that much, but it was competing with a very Brady sequel and First Kid and The Stupids, which was a Tom Arnold movie, which was just terrible. I'm my own grandpa. So it, that wasn't a very good August for movies. Into September here, you know, nothing really great. Um, the first Wives Club was something that uh, all the middle-aged women liked. In October, which is my birthday month, uh, we had The Ghost in the Darkness. They are not lions. They are the ghost and the darkness. Directed by Stephen Hopkins, uh, starring Michael Douglas and Val Kilmer about the Tsavo lions in Africa. That was great. The Ghost in the Darkness is a really great film. It stands up. You know, it was kind of a horror movie, but it was also an adventure movie at the same time about these man-eating lions that killed hundreds of people. Uh, it's a true story, based on true story. Do we wish the world to think that the builders of the British Empire are afraid because of a few minor difficulties with the local wildlife? Michael Collins came out that month. I don't think I ever saw that at the time. I know that I saw it later on, maybe a couple of years later. Uh, High School High with um, John Lovitz, that was kind of a, a spoof on all those movies. Uh, the one with Michelle Pfeiffer where she comes in as a substitute teacher you know, to the underprivileged school. There was a bunch of movies like that. Now, th this is your textbook for the semester. They open like this. And High School High lampooned those. 
Uh, of course, I kind of like goofy comedies, so I thought it was good, but a lot of other people didn't. Our assistant principal is still missing. And in November, Romeo and Juliet came out. That movie really, I think, launched Leonardo DiCaprio's career. Uh, that was big. Uh, not necessarily among my friends, uh, but w women loved the movie. It was a kind of a contemporary take on the Romeo and Juliet story. Space Jam <laughs> came out in November. That was okay, I guess. I think it was an animated movie with um, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. That was, it's not really my thing. I was kind of too old, I think, at the time to appreciate it. There were a lot of dumb comedies that came out during that time, now that I think about it. Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, that was another stupid one. Ooh, uh, The Crucible. Now, that's interesting. I didn't realize that The Crucible came out that year. I don't think I saw it at the time. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, Winona Ryder. That's a good movie. Uh, it tells the tale of the um, Salem Witch Trials based on the, the play by Arthur Miller, which of course isn't really historically accurate. It kind of is a metaphor for the Red Scare. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, it was a great film. Uh, Jerry Maguire came out in December, Mars Attacks. That was good. I, I think I saw Mars Attacks in the theater. They blew up Congress. <laughs> Mars Attacks was a great sci-fi spoof. It had pretty much everybody in it. Glenn Close, Jack Nicholson, Pierce Brosnan, Danny DeVito, Tom Jones. Tom Jones was great in the movie. I remember seeing that in the theater. Uh, it was a Tim Burton movie about uh, an alien invasion. I remember the, the big premise was the aliens spoke in this annoying, like, high-pitched quacking almost. <laughs> they ended up being killed by opera music. Uh, one of the characters' grandmothers loved to listen to this, like, screeching opera music, and when they played it around the aliens, uh, their heads would explode when they heard it. I don't know if I mentioned Jack Nicholson, but yeah, he he played the President of the United States. He was great, too, in this movie. Why can't we all just get along? Just all around. Uh, just so good. Scream was huge, directed by Wes Cravens. That started, that really rebooted the whole horror franchise. Uh, I didn't realize that was in 1996, either. For a horror movie like that to come out in December, that's kind of unusual. That starred uh, David Arquette, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, Rose McGowan, Drew Barrymore. There's a lot of big names in that movie. So it was released on December 20th, just in time for Christmas. Had a budget of $15 million. Worldwide, it made $173 million. Can you believe that for a, a slasher movie? Like, that was just enormous. I guess the 90s were kind of more uh, serious. We kind of got away from the action movies, went more into the kind of that stereotypical young adult. Everybody wore flannel shirts for some reason. That was when like Friends was huge. So there was always about young 20-somethings in an apartment or something dealing with their crappy lives. I don't know. It was depressing. I don't know why anybody was interested in that. There were a lot of film debuts there. Uh, Mila Kunis, Edward Norton, uh, Freddie Prince Jr., Julia Stiles, Owen and Luke Wilson. So a lot of people uh, started their career in 1996. Another movie that came out in December of that year was Beavis and Butthead Do America. That was one of those MTV cartoons. And I never saw it because I didn't have cable television as a kid. My parents didn't get cable TV until I was in college. So I never saw Beavis and Butthead, except um, when me and my friends like rented, I think the library had uh, Beavis and Butthead on video cassette or something like that. And we would watch them every once in a while. But uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't have cable. I never watched them. Um, I was more of a Daria fan. 
when I would go over to my friend's house after school who had cable, we would watch Daria. That was a lot more of an intelligent show, but uh, it was a spinoff from Beavis and Butthead. But Beavis and Butthead was big among uh, my generation, you know, those kids that were privileged enough to um, be able to afford cable TV and watch MTV. They loved it. I, I always thought it was stupid. I don't know. Something I must have missed, I guess, when I grew up. I never really appreciated that kind of humor, but uh, apparently it did really well. Uh, it was filmed at a, or animated rather, at a budget of $12 million, and it made $63 million at the box office. It did a lot better than um, some other comedies that have come out recently. So there you have it. So there's 1996 in film, my freshman year of high school, or rather half of the year, the, the year that I was in high school, really kind of set the tone, I would say, for uh, my freshman year. There's a lot of stupidity and a lot of dumb comedies and bad movies that came out. And in the next video, we'll be looking at 1997 in film, the end of my freshman year, the beginning of my sophomore year. There's a lot more movies that came out, really, really big ones too. Uh, Titanic, Men in Black, Air Force One, As Good As It Gets. So I hope you uh, found this as interesting as I did recording it and sort of reminiscing. And I hope you join me next time.